You're listening to The Mentality Show, only on L.A. Talk Radio. All right, welcome back to our 24th episode of Woo. The Mentality Show. Yeah. Let's give ourselves a hand, gentlemen. Time flies. Almost about to hit show 25. Then, next thing you know, we're going to be in show 50. And we have big things coming up for show 50. We're already coming up with the plans. That's going to be our 50th show anniversary. It's going to be big. Trust me, you're going to be one. Of, you're going to want to be in for that. T-shirts, uh, uh, cups, and and all kinds of stuff. Spare change for <laughs> all of the above. <laughs> all that stuff. Some okay. H's from Delano. Condoms. <laughs> <laughs> giving away condoms with the mentality logo on it. That's right. <laughs> that, you know, be safe. Protect yourself from the H's. <laughs> all right, but before we get into anything on a serious note here, we want to say God bless you to yes. all the people out there. Hopefully, no potential victims that are living in the Carolinas right now. There's yep. a big storm heading your way. They said this is going to be the biggest storm of the century. Yeah, man. This is past Katrina, all this type of, this wow. is supposed to be the big one coming your way. Please, if you're listening, be safe. Get out of there. If you have any loved ones that live in another area, get to those people quickly. Yeah. Be, mm. Protect one another. I saw this uh, news story where people were just, just, just crawling over one another trying to get supplies because of the storm oh. coming. Wow. Uh, it's just horrible. So um, on a serious note, just Lord, please bless these people. Yep. And uh, and be safe. Okay. Yes, that's right. All right, so this is Metallic Show, episode 24. That's right. Uh, before we get started with anything, let's give a shout-out to our sponsors out there, L.A. Aerial Image. They are responsible for everything on this show regarding any video uh, uh, shows, skits, things like that. That quality, all those things are uh, that are being shown, that's through L.A. Aerial Image. That's right. So uh, we, we, we love those guys. They do great work. Not just for us, but throughout all of Southern California. That's right. And if you're in the market to buy a home or thinking about selling your home, that you want to check out VIP Real Estate. These are the guys you want to talk to. They're located in Bell Gardens, and they're at 6730 East Florence Avenue. VIP Real Estate VIP. have all your needs. You can contact them at 562-233-3333 or visit their Instagram at VIP Real Estate Firm. Those are guys you want to talk to. So before we get into anything else here, let me do our introductions of each grown-ass man here at the mm -hmm. table. I'm going to start out with someone special here. We got our guy. He's been on our show before. We love this guy. He's a very good friend of mine. He is the man about town. Please welcome to the show, Mr. Tom Katzis. Tom Thank, you. Thank you. Tom Katzis. That's right. Good yes, to sir. have you, sir. Thank you very much. Good to have you. You're back. You are with the mentality. We, you just met LaShawn the Don today. Awesome. He's our new guy on the show. <laughs> um, and how does it feel to be back, Tommy? Oh, I know it's an honor because uh, you guys are really doing something, I think, really current, relevant, and I get a kick out of being here. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And you read that perfectly, perfectly. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Didn't miss a beat there. Didn't miss a word there. <laughs> All right. So, and uh, <laughs> and then we got here to my left, Mr. LaShawn the Dunn. Hey, LaShawn hey, the Dunn, baby. What's up? Great to be here. The Mentality up? Show. We're going strong. 24. 24. Right. 24 in the building. In the building. That's our <laughs> Kobe number. That's, <laughs> that's, that's our theme for greatness. That's our resident <laughs> comedian on the show. He does all of our writing for jokes and things like that. Love having him here. Uh, I'm your host, Delano. I'm the man on the show, the handsome uh, one. Oh, that's don't go AKA the, the handsome man. Like, you know, <laughs> man so, um, um, how does he go to get on there anywhere? Let the, let the hate come in. He's let a the resident bald guy. Call, call in. <laughs> hey, bald guy. What you got to say, Vato? I ain't saying shit right now. Oh, Vato's quiet today. I will talk All about right, it. All right, Tom, you talking shit over there? <laughs> You're a guest. Guests yes, don't talk shit. Right. Oh, <laughs> this All right. one does. And, and then we got Sexy Texie here what tomorrow. Up? Yeah. What up? Sexy what Texie. Up? He's our tech guy. He does all the tech stuff on the show. Responsible for everything, including he's associated with L.A. Aerial Image, and uh, we're glad to have him, too. Yes. And then we got Vato H. I mean, Vato V yes. in the house. <laughs> Vato V. He hating is our, our, hating already. He is our man on the streets. He's a, he represents uh, just, just that pure, grindy, just L.A. resident that lives in Los Angeles. You know, all, the, all of our people who just, you know, want to talk to just a real man, grown-ass man. You, thank people you. say Vato V is that guy. I'm a lover, so, not a fighter. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> he is a man, and we're happy to have him, too. Socks and sandals. <laughs> <laughs> so how was everybody's week? Did everybody have a good week? Hey, man. Great. Oh, we're excellent. Blessed, man. Great week. Hey. Yeah? Great yeah, week. Great man. week. A lot of things going on. Good news. A lot of, a lot of a lot of good, a lot good of news. Lots, <laughs> Not a lot. A lot, a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. Staying well. out of the news. A lot of lots, man. A lot of yeah. lots. Okay. Well, we'll guys, I have some news. 
I actually had a, a very interesting date oh. this week. There you go. Nice. Uh, very, very interesting. I, I had a good time. Um, was it a, a male, female? Or life changer uh, date. Life we, changing wait. It was a life changing <laughs> date. You know, I can sit here and tell you guys all about it, but instead of that, I tell you what, let's just go ahead and actually. You got uh, footage of this? What's that? Yeah, footage of this. I have footage of this. Oh, I actually, oh, I use my serious? camera phone. Holy Shit. cow! <laughs> LA, LA aerial image joined me on this date. <laughs> <laughs> I was the fly in the wall. He was the fly, <laughs> was the fly behind the scenes. So we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, I thought he was bullshit. Let's show. <laughs> let's show what we got here. Let's show how interesting my date was. Go ahead and roll that tape for me, Sammy. I miss mine. Go get some chicken. I'm hungry. All right. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you know, I gotta say, it was uh, it was a hell of a date. Hell of a date. Wow. Were you surprised? I was. Uh, I, my mind was blown, among other things. But uh, she knew my spot. And um, hey, we know why. We know why, right? Jeez. So uh, okay. I'm pretty proud of that. More to come on uh, how that whole thing went with the date. More to come. And, you know, we got to give shouts out to Brittany <laughs> Lee. Thank yeah, you so much. Thank Brittany. you very much. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, Brittany you. Lee, that you were awesome work. in that video. Both you guys, actually. That was yeah. good work. Appreciate yeah. that. Her, her, her voice is sexier than that, by the way. So really. It is. It is. Yes. <laughs> it is. Definitely. Uh, so, so let's go ahead and get into it, folks. We have an interesting show today. Very, very interesting show. Uh, today, we will cover 20 things that we will regret Yes. As we age, 20 things that we will all regret as we age, which is why Tom Katz is, is our perfect, perfect guest today. He is a man of a certain age. Yeah. Uh, he's lived and he's still living a great life, by the way. <laughs> Thank God for yes. that. And he's still living. He's still living. Yeah, this is not a funeral. This is the mentality show. And uh, he has a lot to say about things. You know, he's going to give us advice, actually, yes. on uh, things we should know as we age. And these are things that. We've, uh, according to uh, Men's Magazine, that we will regret as we age as men. Uh, and if you'd like to chime in on this, of course, you can give us a call here today. The number is 818-570-5085. 818-570-5085. Give, give us a call. Give us a call. And I uh, hope, Sammy, we can get that number on the screen there so people can see it. Sometimes, um, you know, people don't remember numbers, and they might get the, our number mixed up with um with the uh, our sponsor's number, <laughs> and, you know, people call it for a house, and we end up talking about breast and stuff. You know? So <laughs> we don't want to mix those things up. Today. 
<laughs> All right, so before we get into it, as you know, we cover everything on this show. That's going to be our topic. Everything on the show, I mean, all kinds of things. We cover all the things going on in this world from time after time to why LaShawn Dunn keeps fucking up on his rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> we cover that. We cover I'm a freestyle that. rapper, you know. That's how I get down. <laughs> All right, what else we cover, Bato? Hey, from uh, <laughs> from our funny skits, current events, and everything that's strange, <laughs> to why Lashawn the Don keeps on asking for What's some spare change. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? Man? What is up with hey, on Lashawn? Hey, don't front over here. <laughs> <laughs> don't front. <laughs> I got you Collection next week, homie. Time. I got you next uh, week, homie. Put in the dime if you want to see the rhyme. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Off the, off the cuff, tell That's me right, what the rhyme. I think, I think uh, did I see you in that Uncle Drew movie? Like, crossing that motherfucker <laughs> Uncle Drew? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the white version of Uncle Drew. And shit. That's I want to see that right there. <laughs> he looks at people and then he compares them to other people that he sees. That's perfect, man. That's perfect. <laughs> That's right, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, sexy, sexy. What do we cover? Uh, from Elon Musk and Rogan smoking weed, right? To why Delano can't find a job on Indeed. Man, <laughs> I'm looking, man. I'm still looking. If you're hiring out there, please call 818 570 5085. And uh, trust Don't me, hesitate. I need a job too. Sean is homeless and I'm jobless. He gets free hand jobs too. <laughs> we got, we, they're trying to marry this homeless shit on me, man. Like, this, is, this is some bullshit. I got the fattest house on the fucking block. That's true. But, but That's true. He's in a box. I saw him take an Uber. You know what I'm saying? The Uber showed up at the box. And hey, like, what's going on? But man? it was the best, most perfect box on the block. I had the best box on the block. No, you know what? We, we it was we, a two-story we, box. I'll give him that. Yeah. <laughs> it had U-Haul upstairs. The other box was like some Walmart shit. It was, but, it was hey, fly. It was you know fly. what? I gotta. You know, we give Lashawn a hard time about you know this whole homeless thing. It's just a joke. <laughs> How'd that come it's, about though? Where, this where, came about. That, we were shooting, we were shooting a street mentality scene in Hollywood. <laughs> And uh, there was this uh, <laughs> dude playing the drums, begging for money and change. Tech C funny. looked at the guy and go, that kind of looks like the Sean <laughs> Dunn. Oh, this? <laughs> this I was like, oh, we rolling right with here. that, man. We rolling with that, man. Oh, Tech C started. The, the thing from Fantastic Four started this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? We don't uh, have to go in. Finally. Man. Finally, uh, get on them, we man. Gotta, we got to go get fix on them, man. Fix this They're trying to marry this bullshit on I me. I think we really got into it when he, when he came in some Wife threads, me. and you're like, you look homeless, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, look at that shirt. It's all tore up and shit. We all, we all got on them. We all got on them. Uh, yeah, That's good. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sean, he's a family man, has a house, has a Baby. wife, he's beautiful good, wife, beautiful children. He even has a dog. I just found that out. <laughs> oh, so, dog That's what yeah. I usually use to, to get the most change. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Get my dog out there, you know. I don't use my kids. My Smart. kids, I'm like, yeah, don't use the kids. That's yeah. pathetic. Yeah. I, when yeah. I see You've seen that yeah. shit, I see no, you know, people, bullshit, and it's bullshit. If you if you right. see if you see a homeless if you see well supposedly homeless people out there with yeah. their children begging for money, that's call, bad. Call uh, DCFS. call DCFS. Yes, Child services. get yeah. those kids out of that situation. Yeah, yeah. You a grown right. man, you need to you know don't put your kids through that. You no, know, so. we're yeah, gonna try to bust this rhyme stuff out, man. Um, yeah, let's show them the door. What's your rhyme, buddy? Let's just see what we got. Fuck this up. Don't fuck this. Rap about Texas. How bad his breath be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Vato V, is that a pack of hot dogs on the head? Like, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is. Yeah, and last but not least, it, it the like beast it. with the funky feet. <laughs> the milk dud head stud <laughs> who frequently has guys in the jug. <laughs> Terrible rap. My man Delano. Uh, okay. <laughs> My <right>. man Delano. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to do this again. We're get him, go get him, get him. We're going to go from uh, all the things going on in the world time after time to while LaShawn had done again. Keeps fucking up his <laughs> <Yeah>. rhymes. <laughs> that was the first time in show's history we did, we had to do a rhyme twice. <laughs> anyway. Uh, no, we, we did last time whenever we all Mayweathered our rhymes. Remember that? Like, oh, man. Last week. Last week. Last week. Yeah, yeah, we man. fucked it up. We had to we do them again, up. so yeah. we fucked it up. Hey, so this show is live. Up. Anything that says there's no delay or anything like that, what we say is out there, yep. okay? So when we fuck up, we fuck up. We fucked up on the show many times. And we used yeah. to be scared of that, but what the hell? Hey, who gives we're, a fuck? Who gives a know, shit? We're professional fuckers. That's right. So. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get into this topic here. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Before we do that, as you know, we like to do this thing on our show. We like to talk about current events sometime. Yep. And there's a very interesting current event going on in New Jersey. Okay, apparently last year there was a woman who was um, on her way home, and her car broke down in the middle of the street. This nice homeless man comes along, not LaShawn the Dunn, <laughs> but this nice homeless man this comes homie. along this and he boy. gives. Because I'm not nice. I would have just jacked her. He would have jacked her. He would have <laughs> took bing, the money. Bing. Right. Um, so, definitely not. So he Sorry. comes along. He gives her 
his last bit of change, it, it came out to be like 20 bucks. 20 bucks, I think. This homeless man who had nothing at all gives this woman he doesn't even know mm, his last bucks. bit of change to help her get home, mm. okay? Now, this woman, what she did, her and her boyfriend, they decided to get together and start a GoFundMe account for this this homeless man. A good deed. A good deed, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and help him out. So around the world, people were touched by this. Yep. So of course, fourteen thousand people. They all gave you know money and you know to help this man. And it turned out uh, they ended up collecting four hundred thousand dollars for this wow. homeless man. That's a nice okay. chunk of change. Yeah. This is all beautiful, money, right? Yeah. This is all beautiful. Yep. All right. So. Do the do 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 do. Okay, here comes the do 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 part. <laughs> what this woman and her pathetic boyfriend did, they decided to keep Bastard. this money to themselves. Wow. And only give the homeless man about seventy five thousand dollars. Shit. Okay. Kept the four. Kept three hundred and twenty five thousand dollars, and hid that money from him. And apparently, this guy found out through GoFundMe or somebody that they collected four hundred thousand dollars. They, they, they kept it all themselves. It was a public story. So oh, yeah, that's no right. It was a public it. story. That's right. Yeah. So he's like, where's my the rest of my money? If right. anything, Naturally. I mean, y'all get 5% for helping yeah. me out of that. Yeah. And right. 5% of 400000 that's not a you know, right. bad piece of change. You yeah. know what I mean? That's exactly. about what? $20,000? $20, yeah. 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 So uh, I just did that on the top of my head. Tom, you <laughs> fucked up my moment. I was going <laughs> to let people know how smart I was. And you said, <laughs> nobody, nobody believe that. Nobody, nobody thinks that. <laughs> so we talked about it before the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So now uh, GoFundMe. <laughs> And actually, these people are being charged. They're being indicted. They're going to have to oh, go to court good. and good. explain where all the money is and where <laughs> yeah. it's gone oh and possibly get arrested for this thing. So good. far, they haven't been charged <laughs> or committed a crime, but they have been indicted. Well, that's that, Which man. means they have to go explain themselves in the court of law. Yeah. And um, GoFundMe, of course, they said that uh, if they can't explain where all the money went, they're going to go ahead and uh, put up the money. Yeah, and give that to the homeless wow. guy yeah. so that's he can uh, good. take care of themselves. Well, that's you know, good you know, for GoFundMe. You know, you know Delano, and the rest of you guys, you know, we all will see that on Facebook sometimes, a GoFundMe for maybe, it seems a real sad story, but there has been a lot of manipulation and some fraud where people will do a GoFundMe and there's not even anything, they don't need the money at all. Right. But this right. was a legitimate story, of course. Of course. Right. But right. I'm sure that GoFundMe is going to have to put some analytics in place to try to figure out if, how real is this request from Sacramento right. or from Iowa yeah. or whatever. Right. Some right. guidelines. Right. Guidelines. Right. guidelines. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. See, so <clears throat> now that's what's going on. That's what's happening. LaShawn well, Dunn, you had an opinion about this. You said something about the homeless man. Should, oh, he should be uh, happy. He got 75K. And uh, listen, you know, he was coming from ground zero with uh, being broke as hell. Like, he gave right. his last 20 to the lady. Great, generous move. But you got 75K out of the deal. Right. Apparently, the, the dude was sniffing up the money. You know, yeah, a lot yeah. of the money they can't find. It went up right. his nose or right, right, drug right. activity. That's true. That's, yeah. that's, yeah. that's true, yeah. So, I mean... Yeah. Every, it's, it's not going to end with everybody smiling. Right, I mean, right. they could have been not so greedy. Maybe keep right. 100000 Yeah. Right. Maybe yeah. maybe maybe give half. three hundred. Just half. Whatever. Yeah. But that was just on the lines of greedy right there. I mean, yeah. oh. you, you, know what's you got cra- 400 you, and, you know what's crazy about that is that, you know, you got people out there in this world that are, you know, opening their hearts to these people. They're right. opening up their wallets to give them. It's $400,000. Come on, and it's man. A, it's th- and this situation is a lose-lose situation because you yeah. give the homeless man 75000 He's doing drugs. The other people kept the damn money, so where the hell did that money go? You know what I mean? Yeah. And all these other people are shit out of mm-hmm. luck. That's, that's no, not I don't, I don't think, you know? I don't think Valtavia was the homeless dude doing the drugs. I think it was the guy. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. The, 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 the guy yeah. that did yeah. the, the, the $400,000. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Yeah, he was, he was <laughs> exactly, but oh, you know, they got greedy, yeah. No, it was a homeless guy. They're saying that they decided to keep the money. They gave him seventy five thousand, and he, you know, smoked he it up and all that. He, he so they, it. so they were like, "Oh, we're going to keep the rest of the money, so you won't blow it." But then they ended up spending. No, it. his goal is to be homeless yeah. again, so we can help somebody else get home. Okay. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got to, we got to go over it. Either again, way, yeah, motherfuckers either way, are greedy, yeah. and that's how they get caught and get in trouble yeah. and do stupid shit. That's yeah, that's, that's too much money for, nature, for you guys to be getting indicted. <clears throat> is it not? That's know, a lot of money. But see, that's everybody should be going away happy. But there's a lot of people. Again, there's a lot of people that try to give these people money, and it's like you know. They, they both end up losing. Like, what the hell? What's up with yeah. that shit? Fucking idiots. But that's man. a gift. That's, from, an, that's right a gift. That's an angelic gift. If whatever the amount of money was, people gave it to him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's way more than he thought he would ever get. Of but course. Hey, it was given in, in good, good faith. faith. Yeah. Well, he got seven, like he, he made a good point. He got he gave twenty dollars twenty dollars and got seventy five thousand dollars out of it. Good right. return. But if I know, okay, let's say you yeah. got some money owed to you, not owed to you, but if somebody <laughs> says, if I told you, Lashawn, I'm gonna give you a hundred dollars today, okay. I'm just going to give it to you, you know, because you're a good guy, right? 
and then uh, and then I gave you only five dollars. You can be like, fool, what? you told me you you promised right. me a hundred dollars, right? Even though it's like, not owed, it's not <laughs> owed. Just you like, know, hey, bro, like you put that in his head. Yeah, yeah, put that yeah. in his yeah. right. Exactly. In there so you're yeah. gonna feel like I'm being, especially if that hundred dollars doesn't even belong to me. If I got that hundred dollars, somebody, if I ask Tech C for a hundred dollars to help you, and then he gives me a hundred dollars, and I only give you five dollars, it's good. messed up. It's not right. You know, it's so not bad. And that's what, the only loser out of this is GoFundMe. They're the ones who're gonna have to, you know, yeah. put yeah. up the extra the cash for these people. Are there? You said there was an indictment pending, though. There is an indictment pending, right? So I mean, who we has keep time you for that too? They're just regular people working, doing their everyday thing, and now you got an indictment for somebody's some dumb shit. Like, yeah, yeah. 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 somebody's like, gonna go to jail. That's yeah. not fu- that's fucked up. Stupid all well, around. It's stupidity. You stupidity. fucked it. You fucked so, this up, people. <laughs> yeah, they fucked this up. So we're gonna keep you posting on that story. Very interesting story going on in, in New Jersey. And uh, once these people are indicted, if you don't know how to read, then we'll, because uh, you know, it's all over the news. <laughs> yeah, we'll let you know what's what's going on here. So, <laughs> yeah. all right. So let's go ahead and get into our meat and potatoes of the show. Mr. Meat and potatoes. Potato meat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that. Meat and potatoes. Well, yeah. Okay, meat and potatoes. That's his favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> potatoes part. So meat and potatoes, uh, as you know, because men, what do we love? We love meat and, meat and potatoes, potatoes right? right? Oh yeah. So let's go ahead and get into it. As you all know. We are all men of a certain age, okay? We've done things in our life that we are proud of, yep. and some we're not so proud of, okay? Well, here are some of the things as we go old, as we grow old, I'm sorry, that Older. we will regret <laughs> if we don't do it. Because right now we're all in our 40s. You know, Tom, you're um, a man of a certain age. 51. <laughs> <laughs> 51. That's there you go. Age. And uh, <laughs> so, over Dr. Or Drew, I saw him cross his ass over. So. <laughs> I don't care what age you hey, are. This man can ball, man. Yeah. So I play bas- basketball with this guy. He is a man of a certain age, but he no plays doubt. like a dude. Like who, a dude, you know. <laughs> well, we got to tell him. Ball, like a on your ass. Delano, we got to tell him about Sunday. He's really fast and quick, but this rebound came off, was going to the right hand side, to the right hand side of the court to go out of bounds. And I scrambled over to get it. He's on me where I can't shoot. I pivoted around oh, and I launched it as I was going out of bounds. That was a twenty foot shot. Swish. Nice. Wow, Swish. nice. Wow. And, and I couldn't they, believe nice. it. And they said, You didn't even square up for that shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. He just turned around on me. It was a it was a, a fadeaway jumper. <laughs> Basically, wow. it was crazy. Now, was when crazy. you're playing with Delano, do you ever mistake his head for the basketball? <laughs> that's something that's like you get I, I've, d- I've, I've dunked it several times. Uh, yeah. I think you this just grab his head and start dunking it. <laughs> I, found my, I, found, I found my fingers in his eye sockets. That wasn't right. <laughs> He's basketball, on his A game. Not bowling. Today. That's a different not sport. Bowling. Yeah. <laughs> Sean and Dunn's on his A game. Uh, okay. All right. All right. I'm going to let him slide ready. with that one because we got to get into the, the meat of the And the potatoes. I'm going to take out that potatoes <laughs> so let's get into the meat of our show all right so number one thing the number one thing and we're going to go down the list here everybody has their everybody ready to go right yep. go. i'm gonna start with number one okay number one not traveling when you have the chance to yep that's something that we as on, anyone should, if you have the necessity if you have the money and you're able to do this okay do travel the world get out get out of do your it. little hole get out of your yeah. little confinement and see what else is out there there's so many diverse things and diverse people out there yeah and i'm telling you when you do it you're going to feel so much better in, about coming home and, and just seeing how different uh, mm-hmm. things are when you come home Reality. as the rest of the world and it's just such a great stress reliever that's true Reality. such a great stress reliever so i know when you, you can travel please. i know when i travel and i come back home it, it's the best feeling ever. Like, yes. it makes me reignited for L.A. again. Right. It's like, oh, Except man. Except when you go to, like, Hawaii or something, and you don't want to come back home. I know. Well, <laughs> I haven't had the luxury of going to Hawaii yet, oh, but I, I, I do want to go. Yeah. To the money. That's beautiful. definitely on the bucket list. The island of Hawaii itself, it's like, because years ago, there was this volcano that erupted. So all it's you see is just, 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 nice. uh, just nothing but, it's like you're on the moon. But it's a black moon because all the lava that melted the, the land, and as as far as you can see, and it, it's so isolated. You feel like you're in this place all alone just by yourself or beaches, whoever you're with. The beaches yeah. are nice. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah just oh, yeah. Oahu, life, Waikiki. Know, I, went, I did scuba diving in Hawaii. And the marine, oh my! Marine life wow. is just ridiculous. Okay, and then Kauai is very green with all the stuff on Kauai. All yeah. the yeah. They, that's yeah. where they filmed the original Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, that's yes, that's right. So nice. You know, get out there and travel. That's I, something you're you're gonna right. regret if you're if you don't do it uh, right now. Yeah. Yeah. Take my, my first like next. real trip until <laughs> I was like in my 30s, I think my mid yeah. early 30s, mid wow. 30s. 
and I was to Hawaii, and I was wow. like, damn. Mm. So <laughs> Hawaii was that popular 30 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> you just said we're all in our 40s. <laughs> I know, I know. Come I told on, you my math is Come bad. Come on now. That's my math bad. is bad. Vato V, what's number two? What's Where number two? Where are we at? And remember, start out with something you regret right. if you do not do it now. Hey, being too scared to come out of your comfort zone. You know what I mean? Yes. You know, before before we actually started this show, I, I didn't know about this shit. You know, I wanted to, I didn't know anything about this, but now I'm getting more comfortable and stuff like that. Right. So this is out of my comfort zone. Right. You know, you guys got me into this and, and you know what? Thank you guys. show one, he was yeah. like, oh, I was like, whatever. Uh, 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 look at, look at, look at you now. <laughs> exactly. You're I'm pretty still, comfortable. Yeah, pretty now comfortable. we can't <laughs> shut the guy up. I'm still quiet. No, he's, I can shut him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Press the button. <laughs> now, Vato B, you've come a long way, man, and uh, and and you, you're you're a great asset on the show. You're, you're one of the producers on the show. You bring in people. You bring in our guests. Thank you. And you've done a lot for this show. Um, and uh, a huge part of the show's success is because of you. And I'm thank glad you. to have you here. Thank man. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Wrap it up for Vato B, man. Thank you. Thank Vato you. B. That's hey, right. we have a lot of good. Let me get you laid tonight, but get you laid. Yeah, right, 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 right hand. Hey, we it's have a lot Rosie of Palmer. we have a lot of good things coming on the show, man. And <laughs> and because of the show, we've had we've had a lot of success. <laughs> and our and also our our guests that have come on, uh, we've networked. You yeah. know what I mean. So a lot of us have mm. have gone you know a little thing here and there. But you know I, this show is gonna come a long yeah, way. Networking is like uh, share the yeah. Delano's knows date. There you go. Tell your friends. Share that. So I said all those nice things about you, but Toby. Now it's my turn. Go ahead and say some nice things about me. Uh, no, let's, go to, let's go to number three. Next. <laughs> number three, sexy no, text. Number three. This is not a personal one for me, but uh, staying in a bad relationship. I yes. Mean, if you're in a when you're, when you're young, a lot of people tend to just stick with their with whoever the hell they're whoever with. they're with. Yes. And, you know, maybe yeah. head down the bad, the wrong way, the, the bad path. Yeah. Yes. Fights. You know, maybe slapped around if you're a female and you know, yeah. just, just bad just overall, out. man. And just, yes. Just not not vibing, and then uh, you just kind of hang around. Yeah. And do nothing. Yeah, <laughs> you know, absolutely. That, I've done that, that many, many times. Stayed in a relationship too long. And uh, it just eats at you. It wears you down. Nice. It, it's the stress. And mm-hmm. why, why be with someone? I'll say this is this is not just relationships uh, that the people you're dating. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you have to cut family, yeah. friends off. Right. Why, yeah. why business, keep somebody in your true. life that's, right. that's yeah. stressing the fuck out of you? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's right. It's not worth it. Let them go. That's start right. over. Whatever you have to that's do. Right. You know, a lot of a lot of people. You know, a lot of people that they're, they're afraid. You know, obviously they're in a relationship. If it's a bad relationship, they're afraid to what's on the other side right like, you know what i mean right. they're afraid to move forward like they're, right. they're scared of the unknown right but the unknown it, it could be good it's not bad man it's out of that comfort zone exactly. it's a new exactly. beginning it can be it can be but it's scary to be alone yes. for a while yeah. yes it's true yeah it's get out of true. that comfort zone yes. man you know move out you never know you're gonna you never know what better is out there that you're gonna find more better <laughs> yeah. more better more, more better, better. <laughs> let's shut it down what we got number four number four number four um, this is especially for Delano. Um, <laughs> regretting not growing hair. <laughs> when it comes just to regrets, men. just I don't no. see that in here nowhere. <laughs> That's my guy. That's my guy. No, not quitting a terrible job. Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <gentlemen>. <laughs> <laughs> we have great jobs, by the way. And, uh, <clears throat> pay the bills. Yes, we love our jobs. Um, yes. But no, just yeah, not not quitting a terrible job. Now we're talking right. maybe scrubbing toilets when you have a uh, multitude of de- different talents right like if you got a damn bachelor degree and you're a janitor come on right, like, yeah. like like fix that but right um people who don't have a job would rather have a job and and, and complain about not having a exactly. job so right. it's like don't exactly. complain about working at least you're working uh yeah. what number four is really saying is uh, the terrible job like you know you're capable of better right, right. exactly you know you, you know you know this is just something like come exactly. on like i'm really scrubbing these toilets i got right. a master's degree <clears throat> right. and I'm like, exactly <laughs> Exactly. Oh, you know that's not right. So right. yeah, you know, that's, and that's funny. There's a lot of people out there like that, man. They have master's yeah. degrees and they're working at a you know at a low income job. And Dunkin' it's like, Donuts, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a job, obviously, but it is what it is. But if you if you have the experience and if you have the talent, hey, do what yeah. you got to do. Move on. Do it. Indeed, Tom, <laughs> Tom. What's the worst job you've ever worked in your life? Oh wow, uh, a disciple. Would, a disciple for Jesus. When, uh, <laughs> In fact, <laughs> he's an asshole, dude. He's an asshole, man. Yeah, it's, it's amazing you're saying that because uh, my business partner and her wonderful son, they're reading something that I wrote about uh, 20 years ago called The Working Life, and it's 44 pages of me, all the jobs I had from the time I was a real little kid yeah, all the way through up until I was kind of in uh, maybe my mid-50s. So yeah. the worst job I ever had, I think it was when I was not my own boss. 
Oh. And uh, yeah. as much as I love teaching back in the Midwest, and I taught for 10 years. I was a counselor for two. I love the kids, but yeah. the po- politics of education. Yeah. Yes. yes. And because I'm very ADD, even now, yeah. Yeah. I, I just had to be more on my own. Right. right. And so I admire people that can work for a boss or supervisor or for the team. Mm-hmm. I, I'm just better by myself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Better by myself. Yeah. Yeah. Amen yeah. to that, man. And so I tell you, he, this, he works by himself. He does his own thing. And he's one of the happiest people I know. Yeah. One of the happiest people. Every time I'm saying, hey, Fra- even if I'm not in the best mood, hey, Franklin, how you doing? I love you, buddy. You know, just always in a good Never seen you in a bad mood, Tommy. You know, and you, gave, you, and you gave me number five, which is a perfect one for me to talk about. Okay. When, oh, you, when, yeah. you're, when you're afraid to tell somebody you love them, and what That's I want right. to do is relate this to all the men. Being that, afraid to say I love you is all, number five. All the, men that, all the men that may have been in your life or are in your life, your friends. I've got a first cousin, James, in Rock Island, Illinois, mm-hmm. that now the last couple years were on the phone. The last couple years, mm-hmm. I'll say I love you, James. He said, I love you too. But for 20 years, <coughs> men can't say that to each other very right. easily. Yeah. So now as I've grown older, right. Most of my friends, and Franklin and I have said we love each other, too. Yep, absolutely. And it's, it's, it's something about the mentality of a man. Right. Where, well, I'll tell my wife I love her. Because you right. guys hang around with millennials. <laughs> 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 but you know what? That looks great, too, man. Yeah. Like, that attitude seems yeah. to, it's a good vibe. I mean, you're, what, like yeah. 117? Listen to it. <laughs> <or? 170. laughs> uh, I've got, uh, I've got four, four brand new hearts the last couple of years. But, uh, <laughs> he's about to hit that he record. He's great uh, where his age go. He real. does, like, he does. Like, yeah. Absolutely, this man is. And he's playing it's, ball. It's, it's like, come on, I want to be like that. He's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what? That, that's all about. That's the energy. Whether you're younger, like you guys are, or a guy in his seventies, it's really when you Google a gentleman who's either in, I think, Austria or Germany. He's 104 years old, running, running oh. the hundred meters. Wow. Not, not, wow. not. He's running. Right now, wow. he's not doing it in ten flat. But when you keep your muscles strong and your bones strong right. and your attitude strong, and when you're extremely good looking like me, <laughs> that's right. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, right. Right. that's right. That's right. Good confidence. Ding. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, you have to it's know a healthy yourself. confidence. You know? Yes. And yeah, yeah, right. Exudes, you know, it's, it's just right. how you carry yourself. And Thank, thank you. When, yeah. Whenever you're uh, a man of a certain age, like you said, you just want to have that kind of confidence and yep. look look. Uh, about ten years younger than what you are, I guess that that's yeah. always a good goal, right? Scott looks about twenty years yeah. younger than what he oh, is. Almost yeah. definitely I mean, about Tommy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. I, really. I tell you, I got much respect. Much I, that's when I knew we were covering this topic, I immediately knew the guy to bring in. We got to yes. bring Tom Katzis in yes. for this this topic. He's yes. the perfect guy. Yes, He's helped me so much, giving me so much advice in life. Nice. And uh, I'm gonna start charging next week. <laughs> <laughs> Life I know it's some. Um, I gotta coach. say, man, I love you. I love, <laughs> I love you. Man. I love you too, Frank. Yep. God, isn't That's there a right. movie? You know what? I love, I love you, you too, Texi. Bato V. LaShawn. All hey, right. Love fuck you. Man. you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love you. Don't be afraid to say fuck you. Don't be afraid to say That's number six. Number six. We got. Bro, I love you, but fuck you. All right, that's the real homie, though. The, yeah. the one that can tell you fuck you in the yeah. same time. At the right. same fuck time. you and not I love fu- you. Not fuck you at the same time as saying fuck you. Uh, but well, just, Dollar House friends like that, too, I'm sure. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. see, the one that can put that reality into you, like, yo, man, you, you're fucking up. You know, right. like, yeah. Yeah. like right. with Sean Denon, you're fucking up your rhymes. Right. Right. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> see, we need somebody that's giving that reality check. That's right. You know? and, you, and we always right. talk. We always talk about this. Like when we can, when we can shoot at each other, like talk shit to each other. Yeah. And that's no. That's man. a true friend. Oh, that's yeah. a true friend. Yeah, that's a true friend. I cannot be friends with someone that it's I fake. cannot talk shit it's to. Fake ass. If you're someone who's since I remember I had a girlfriend I was seeing at the time. She was like, "How come you don't treat me like your friend?" So I started talking shit to her. <laughs> and then she was like, "Don't treat me like your friends." Because <laughs> I have to talk shit to the my girlfriend. I mean, to my friends. That's how I am. I can't have a true friend that can have a drink with me. Right. Exactly. Got to re- reevaluate our friend. <laughs> <laughs> near beer, hey, you know. So I'm a near friend. All right, so number six, we're gonna go ahead and move on here. Uh, and this is something I've been guilty, probably out of everyone at this table here, I probably suffer from this the most, and that's caring too much about what others think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do not yeah. go through life caring about what other people think. Real shit. I mean, yeah. it's. I agree with as that. I'm now that I'm older, I'm not as bad. When I was younger, I was really, really bad. Not at this. as bad, is it? I mean, <laughs> I, I had a, I had a pretty messed up childhood, y'all. So there's things yeah. I had to get over to to help me through this. Yeah. But the demons um, but um, <laughs> the demons caring too much about what others think it has been a, a big issue in my life. That is true. And it's probably held me back in a lot of things. 
Um, so I truly regret that, and uh, that's something that I, I'm still working on, and uh, I'm really putting myself out there right but there, now. For you guys to just, it's just go ahead that you got to fight your own, your own mind on being confident mm-hmm. about doing things, yeah. but when you worry about what other people think, yeah. it's, right. it's, more, it's worse. Especially yeah. y'all, because y'all talk shit all the time, man. <laughs> but if I worried about what y'all but thought. We love, but we love you. <laughs> yeah, it's all love. I love you, man. I mean, just think about your successful stars that might not been the best look, like like a Biggie Smalls. Right? Yeah. You know, yeah. like. He didn't give a damn. He yeah. he could rap and he he yeah, felt lazy that way. He yeah. didn't care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he believed guy. in his talent. He yeah. believed in his he talent. And his the talent. confidence you talk about confidence. So have have the confidence to know that's the path you want to be on. And yeah, right. Now I'm oh, very yeah. confident. Don't get me wrong. I'm very yeah, confident. I, I give him that. I do but give you that. Yeah, I do give you that. It's I weird. I'm confident, but I care about right. what other people yeah. think too much. And that's, you know? that's, that's is that because you don't want them to not like you? He's confident and insecure at the same time. Yeah, he's an insecure, confident guy. It's an oxymoron. That's like that's like an insecurity guard or something. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I know. By the way, LaShawn Maybe. and Don and I will be performing at Flappers tonight. That's right. Come check us out. Come out. Come it's going to be a yeah. great show. Yep. Yeah. And right. uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna knock them dead. We'll be the best Late two in there. Comedy. Hey, the, 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 you know what? Here's some advice I want to give the people out there, man. Just fuck what everybody else thinks, man. Just do what you got to do. do That's you. it, man. Bam. Because, there's, like, again, man. We we spoke before, you know. This these guys right here, man, have given me confidence to do what the fuck I'm doing. I love this, man. This yeah. is therapy for me. And these guys over here, I've gone on stage and done their shit. Yeah. Something that you guys have a calling for, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's good. Well, he right. got his shit too, and he's doing his shit. Yeah. And Tom over here, man, I appreciate you coming on the show, man. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Very much, Thank man. you. Awesome. But you found your calling yeah. in doing this right here, because like I said, if it wasn't for you, this show would not be as successful. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. A lot of I love things. you, man. <laughs> I feel the love in the building. I feel the love. I love the love. It's a lot of love going on here. Yeah, yeah, you. All right, too much of this love stuff. I think after the show is going to be number seven. jerk. <laughs> number Focus. seven, Vato V, what we got, buddy? Where are we at? Not number moving, seven, number seven. Now moving on from a bad relationship or bad situation in your life. When you start dwelling on stuff. Oh, yes. boy. Oh, you know, boy. You, was, Tom, was, you have something to say about that? Yeah, no, that I just say, I mean, it's like being stuck. Yeah. 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 Be, exactly. Because you, you get into the pity party thing. Yes. Whether somebody left you or you left them. Yes. Or something just ended and then all of a sudden, you know, um, to change an emotional state, you have to take a physical action. Yes. Because if you stew in your juice, you'll stay home with the lights out, and you'll start maybe doing things you don't want to do to yourself. Yes. Right. But if yes. you get out there and help somebody who looks like they need to have a smile, like the homeless guy who gave the, his last 20 bucks, yeah. that's the gift right there. Right. 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 But in moving on and finding yourself to be alone for a while, taking the risk of being alone yeah. so the right person comes along, you're open for that. That's what and I'm doing now. Yeah. Depression is fucking crazy, man. There's a lot of people when, mm-hmm. your, mind, when your mind starts fucking with you, mm-hmm. man, it's all bad, man. And that's that's not a good... You got to come out that's of that right. shell, man. Yeah. You got to come out Absolutely. of that shell. Yeah. You know, they, so interviewed, uh, they interviewed uh, uh, someone the other day on one of the talk shows. They said, well, how, did, how were you able to fight through your depression? And we got re- pretty emotional. They said, I go out and I try to find something where I can help somebody else. Right. Yeah. To, to come out of yourself. Right. And help somebody else. Yeah. Right. Tell me the way crazy. you said that your voice goes down is creeping me it's out. <laughs> it's because you're coming on to me. You're making, <laughs> you're making the lane, you're making the lane all depressed. Yeah, it's like, deep. So I'm just like, yeah, so if you get to, you know, you'll notice that I will um, come closer to Leno. Yeah. <laughs> Whisper in my ear, oh, baby. Whisper in my ear. Yeah, I'm getting a little turned on there, oh. man. The Leno pre came right there. <laughs> we know he likes that deeper voice of that girl. I know. <laughs> It was something about that chick, man. Because I miss mine. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, Tech C, what we got? Number, Number eight, eight. Uh, holding grudges and not forgiving. Yes. Um, yes, that's big, the best. Forgive one, one another, I can, man. I could take a yes. little personal on this. Like, when I was in my 30s, you know, I had a little fallout with my father. Oh, and, boy. And, and there was a couple of years where we didn't really talk. Oh, and, right. And, boy. and right. Uh, you know, when, when we came back together and made an immense, like, it was like, why did we ever... Mm. Wow! Like, yeah, it was just stupid. Like it was. It was yeah. petty. Yeah. Yeah. And our relationship is better now, and it's much yeah. stronger. And I, and I, and I, I looking love that. back on that I love though, that, but but now as an older guy, like life is short. Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 By wasting time like that, that's foolish and yes. dumb. Like, do not hold a grudge. Was it too much pride on either parts? Oh yeah, yeah of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. And mm. and it just, you know, it, no. yeah, it's just it's not good. Just yeah, just right. just forget, forget about it. You know, talk about something else. Change the subject. I mean. It, 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 there's no way, no reason <coughs> to be that upset with someone to mm-hmm. where you don't For talk to your stupid. father or your family. For how many years? How many years? Two, two years. Two years. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think do you think not talking to your father for that long and not forgiving him, or you two not forgiving each other, and you said things are better now? Do you think the reason why things are better now is because you went through though that drama together? 
Hmm. Yeah, of course. I mean, like, good point. I'm sure we both <coughs> realized question, that though. it was it was like unnecessary to go. You know, both of us were prideful and and uh, egotistical, and right. it's like, mm-hmm. right. and it's, it's the alpha like, shit. Yeah, right. and and, yeah. and it just it's just <coughs> in the end it's just it's just you know, now I have before that was before my son and now I'm a son of and it's just like together mm-hmm. all of us are just mm-hmm. so happy nice. and yeah. have mm-hmm. a great time together. It's right. like mm-hmm. that shit was so petty and dumb. Yeah. Like, what, well, what were we thinking you know what that? I mean. Some families will have somebody they don't talk for years. Yeah, At least you guys yeah. only went two years. I know, yeah, 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 and yeah. I'm yeah. glad. And I'm glad, <coughs> and, and and that I'm grateful for that. But I'm like, <coughs> this is exactly what we're saying. Is, you know, so if you do have an issue with someone in the family, like just figure it out, man. Like just while they're out, while they're because, while they're alive. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. wh- how how would I felt if my, you know my father had gotten sick or something right, at that yeah. time? That's that right. would have been so That's fucked right. up. Oh, yeah. It would have been terrible. And there's, and there's so, a lot of people out there like that, man. That that they're fucking fighting, and they don't even know what the fuck they fought about. No, you know no, what I'm saying? It's like, no. what do we fight about? Yeah, Something stupid. Yeah. And now this person is gone. And then then what are you gonna do? Ego like, ego you know. will destroy you. Yeah, exa- and you and go to the, you know you go to the damn cemetery. I'm sorry, but for what? Yeah, what? Yeah. You know, yeah. You know admire them while they're while they're here, while they're alive. Give them a hug. Yeah, this is not this is not just family members. We're talking about coworkers. Yeah, exactly. You know, people here. You know, in in our studio right now, one of you guys could be pissing me off, and I'm holding the grudge against you, and I'm not forgiving you, and all that type of stuff. That's stressful because I got to work with you guys. You mm-hmm. know? But I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you That's all it takes. That's I mean, all it takes. Yeah, people make mistakes, you. and you just got to learn how to forgive and yes. forget forgive and move and on. And that's it. Oh, that's right. Forget. Right. Oh, shit. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. so let's go ahead and move on to number nine. Number nine, what we got, LaShawna Dunn? Number Not nine. standing up for yourself. Being too nice. Yes. Hey, that, hey, that's guys. a big one, man. Hey, that's a big one. That's a big one. I think yes. I, I'm, I'm yeah, going go through with that with my son, like, because he's, you know, <laughs> dealing with him as far as, like, going to school and, and right. yeah, be nice, but don't be a pushover. Yeah. You know, there's a fine line there. You know, if right. a kid's just getting in trouble all the time, okay, leave that kid alone. You right. know, and that's for, that's for kids. But adult-wise, definitely, you got to take the bull by the horns. Right. Like, yeah. Your lady sees you getting stepped on, and she's not gonna be your lady too much longer. Cause <laughs> right, she'll be like, this guy's yeah. a scrub. Yeah. You know, you gotta be nice able to guys stand finish up. last, like, oh, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. be nice, but you know, I there's think, a fine line. Every I mean, old man learns this because there's no old man that's a pushover. They're all like. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So man, yeah. I'm like, fuck hey, anymore. I've been through. Ex- I've experienced being nice, and shit is not nice. So I that, yeah. no I more niceness. Me. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move through these here. We gotta move them pretty quickly here. Uh, cause we want we want everyone to we want. Oh, okay. We're gonna shorten some of these down. No, too, number ten. So number ten, 10 is hey, ne- neglecting Tommy. your penis. <laughs> <laughs> never that. Never uh, that. I don't that. think there's a man that does that. Uh, no, no, I don't no, think so. That's against the rules. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Making a change. The, screen, the screen wasn't that big for my. Oh, neglecting your teeth. Neglecting uh, your teeth. Yes. Who yes. gives a shit about uh, that? <laughs> <laughs> You got all those really good ones in there with emotion and heart, and we're all coming to tears and not neglecting your teeth. That's the one yeah, we gave you, buddy. Tommy. You, you were assigned to that one, you know, so. Yeah. That's true. Everybody. But, Tech, you just went to the dentist, right? Got some work done and, and uh, well, you know, congratulations. got a and stuff, you know. So Way to go. That's yeah, good, I'll good. let beer <laughs> get to your teeth. He's an OG. Beer right don't here. affect your teeth. <laughs> I'm really torn up about that big time, I'll tell you. <laughs> All right, well, number I mean, eleven. Did, did Bruce Jenner neglect his penis? Did, <laughs> no, he didn't. He was a neglector. Or? I think he, he cut I it think, off. I think he kept that in the side there for a while. There, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. he kept it in the jar. All right, number eleven. Things we regret: not stopping enough in life every once in a while to enjoy the sweet moments I li- of life. I like That's this. A good one. Just taking a moment like out yeah. to yeah. breathe and like relax them. and enjoy. Breathe, it. relax, floss your teeth while you're sitting. Floss your teeth. <laughs> play with turn your, your penis. Turn your phone <laughs> off. Turn your phone off. off. Turn your phone uh, off. Electronic. Yes. You know. Yes. You know what? We we're so addicted. I know I can sometimes go to the arc light to go to the f- movie. I leave my phone at home. If the world's going to blow yeah. up, I'll either feel the explosion <laughs> in the theater or I'll hear about it when I get out of the out of the show. That's yeah, right, exactly. Right? Like you That's see right. what the hell? You leave it at home, not in the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got to drive home without my he phone. Just drives home faster. Gotta get there. <laughs> <laughs> but number twelve, okay, so that everybody likes that one. <clears throat> number twelve, we can say more about that. Uh, failing to finish what you start, right. not finishing school, yes. things like that, not yes. finishing. Not not going after that person that your you, dream, man. Yeah, your dream. exactly. Not going after your dream. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number thirteen, Vato V. Letting yourself be defined by culture expectations. Cultural, Cultural expectations. Cultural expectations. Yeah. And not learning to read. So. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's <laughs> mean now, Domingo. I'm sorry. I'm I'm okay. I've yeah. been nice to LaShawn, though. I've been I, nice to LaShawn. He wants to fuck with me now, so that's right, okay. So. <laughs> I, still, I still love you. Fuck no, you, but I still love you. This is true. <laughs> this is true. Like, uh, you explained this the other day when we were talking about this, Vato V. 
Uh, explain to the audience what you were saying, cultural expectations, like you know, people who are a certain uh, race. Yeah, that's certain you know, creed. A lot of people, what a lot of people do is like, especially when you're dating a different race, like people will always look at you like you're fucking weirdo. Like, fuck you. You know what I mean? Who, yeah. who are you to tell me who right. to date, who to love? Right. You know what I'm saying? If, or if you're gay, you're lesbian. Right. Who the fuck am I to as tell you who to As who long as it's not a farm animal. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or a child. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right, you know, like, right. Yeah. Wait I mean, 20 years. Exactly. Right. <laughs> 18 and over. We're good. That's why. 21 and over. Oh, that's my why, gosh. You know? That's why I date white girls. I'm like, I still date my white women. I'm not ashamed of it. He's them. colorblind. <laughs> no, I love all kinds of women. It doesn't matter what kind. All right, number 14, Tech C, real quick. Uh, not spending time with the kids as they're growing. Yes. yes. No, that's that's we Nobody all have kids are. here. Tom, you have grown kids. Mm-hmm. And, and grandkids. And grandkids. And three great-grandkids. Oh, wow. wow. Jeez. Awesome. You just showed wow. your age. We're <laughs> selling them off. We didn't, we need to pay some debt. We're selling them <laughs> off. <laughs> All right, number fifteen, Lashawn Dunn. What you got? Number fifteen. Never taking a big risk in life. Yes. Love, career. Yes. We will uh, regret that if we don't you do know, it. Yes. You have to take the risk. And that's why uh-huh. we're all here too. Yep. We, this is something years ago I started. And, uh, you know, I'll get into it because we're going to go in our own personal thing here. Right. So, yeah. as a matter of fact, speaking of that, uh, we're going to go ahead and hit number. So, number 16, 17, 18, 19 is going to be our own personal experiences of what we've regretted so far in life. And let's try to make these about 30 seconds in lead gen- length, gentlemen, because uh, we're running short of time. LaShawn Dunn, what is your one thing in life so far that you regret you have not done? Wow. Um Hawaii is going to be on that list now. So, <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna tackle that. You guys spoke of it so well in uh you know, I did take a few risks. You know, I have three children, so I went raw, at least. <laughs> so those are the type of risks that I did like Risky to take. Behavior. I got some nice kids out of that. <laughs> yes, she did. Next yes, up, she did. man. <laughs> yes, she did. And uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Mr. Tom, what do you have? What is your um, what is your thing that you regret? You know what? I'm going to have you go last, Tom. I'm going to have you go last. Okay. Tech, what's your thing that you regret? Um, you know, after having my son, he's four now, so. I kind of think like, man, I'm I'm in my 40s. Like, why didn't I have kids when I was younger? Like, yeah, I, you know, I kind of enjoy the experience. It's not it's not a huge regret, but I, you know, should have been why younger. Not, I, I, why not have kids when I was younger? I just, right. I, just I was so caught up in oh. messing, you know, being a, being a youngster. Yeah, and, you know, wow, being kidless. Wow, and, yeah. but I mean, he's he's great. I, I love it. it I love lovely kid. Smartest kid I've yeah. ever met. Awesome, and, uh, boy. Smartest kid. He's I've my ever fan, by the way. I don't know where you got that from. He's my fan. Came from the mother, I guess. Definitely the mother. Vato V. You know, What's your thing? It's going to sound a little selfish, but I, I throughout my whole life, I've put a lot of people in front of me and, you know, and just, you know, giving them this and giving them that and just trying to accommodate them with, with, with whatever, you know what I mean? Whether it's their goals or dreams or careers or whatever it is, you know, and I never, and I always put myself last, He's a you know, <laughs> yeah. and I always put myself last. So now it's like, fuck, it's my turn to fucking be selfish, take care of business. Right. Right. So yeah. Women yeah. like you hearing know? that. Like, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. It's not too nice. You know? There yeah. you go. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go with Delano's personal. sometimes, man. Like, definitely. Put, yeah. Invest in yourself. Of course. You know? that, that's yourself. what I'm trying to say. Exactly. Man. Uh, this is my, my moment, guys. Nobody cares. Uh, <laughs> so, my hey, personal. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> we're out of time. <laughs> invest some just for men. All right, my, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go ahead, my thing here that I regret not doing is maybe starting a family and getting married sooner in life. I'm a man of a certain age. I feel like I'm getting up there. And I wish everyone has. Uh, I have a daughter. She's 13 years old. But I would love to have that family, that marriage, that woman that I just want to be with for the rest of my life. And uh, having children together and watching those children grow and being there as a great father. I regret that, that didn't, I didn't start that sooner in life. It's still not too late. Right. I regret that I didn't start that sooner. So you're lonely. I was going to say that, too. You're definitely so it's not too late, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not, not too like, late. Yeah, you can exactly. still accomplish that. You, you're, you're well within the means of the age group to still still accomplish that you know Thanks, so yeah. I mean, I, without a wheelchair you know, so. <laughs> yeah, right yeah, yeah i don't want to be 80 years old playing yeah. with my two-year-old son you know yeah. so tommy now we're going to say the best for last That's you've right. lived a long life and you're still living that life living and loving it what is the thing that you regret that you did not uh, do in your life so well far? tech c kind of hit hit on it yeah. about dads my dad drank while we were young I was living with a mean aunt for four years from the fourth grade to the eighth grade. Yeah. Then we had a house fire where I jumped out of a burning building and lived with a really kind aunt for wow. two years. Wow. So wow. I was really a disoriented family. We never, with five girl, five kids, five, you know, there's mm. me and there's my older sister and there's right. two sets of twins. There's five girls and me. Never had a meal with the family ever together. Mm. My dad stopped drinking, but then he died at 64. Wow. And wow. I remember he said to me one day, 
I want to go golfing with you guys. And I said, Dad, you, you don't play golf. And he said, well, I could ride in the cart. Oh, wow. Wow. He wow. just wanted to be with me, and I couldn't, I couldn't bring him into my heart. Right. Yeah. So yeah. that would be my big regret. Right. So I'm so glad you made yeah. up with your dad, man. Well, That's too. awesome. That's, good. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. That's good. Family, love. Right. You know, express yourself. Right. If you, if you I, if someone, I remember I heard E40, the great rapper, said this. He said, <clears throat> if you love someone, you should tell them often because you never know when they'll be lying in a coffin. Exactly. You know what I mean? Tomorrow is not promised, I guess. Tomorrow's not promised. That's right. So we got a special, uh, what's little man's name here, Tommy? That's Maxwell. Maxwell, come here for a second. I'm going to ask you a question here. <laughs> How old are you, Maxwell? Eight. Eight years old. Maxwell is eight yeah, years Maxwell. old. Maxwell. That's a Maxwell. Maxwell. Here. So, Maxwell, you're eight years old, and you're eight years of living. What do you regret you have not <laughs> done in your life so far? Play basketball. Nintendo, <laughs> basketball. What is it that you want to do with your life? What do you want to be when you Make grow up? Make it to the NBA. That's Make it right, to the baby. NBA. That's and right, you baby. will. And you will. That's right. That's right. That's right. So right. is there anything in your eight-year-old life so far that you regret you have not done yet? No. What do you want to do? No? <laughs> See, it's so good to be young, I man. wish I was eight. <laughs> so good to be eight years old. Good Can job. turn the time good back? Good. That's right, that's <laughs> all right, guys. we got to go ahead and end this. All right. So, Tom Catches, thank you again yes, today. Thank you, Tom. Tom. Love you, brother. we got to end wait, this. Wait, wait, wait. Tom, what do you got going for yourself? What's anything new? I've been shooting a lot of movies. I've been okay. real blessed. I'm making a little bit more money through my insurance business so that I won't oh. be a poor old bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Tom. You were great. Hey, we got to thank our sponsor, LA Aerial Image VIP Realty. Also, if you want to catch us, uh, uh, our past episodes, catch us on YouTube, The Mentality Show, www.thementalityshow.com. You can catch us, latalkradio.com, Facebook, IG, all those things. And uh, we usually do this thing called. Mexican word of the day, but we're a little shorter today. I'm sorry about so we'll do it next good. week. No problem. Uh, please share us with your friends. We appreciate it. <laughs> and remember, folks, you're good, but with our help, you, you could, could be, be the best. best. We'll see you next week, folks. Vamanos. You're listening to The Mentality Show, only on LA Talk Radio.